सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल लेवल ऑफ फॉर यू सो आई एम मनी चौधरी बैक इथ एन द वीडियो सो टूडे आई विल आस्क यूर क्वेश्चन डिड यू एवर गेट रिजेक्टेड और डिसअपॉइंटेड ओवर एंड ओवर एंड ओवर अगेन बट मिस्टर कॉलोनल हाल इन सैंड्रस द फाउंडर ऑफ के एफ सी डेड बींग फेलियर ही नेवर लेमनेड और accept his defeat and made a world a better place today i will share his whole inspirational and motivational story so i just plead with my loving audience that please watch the video till end Kentucky Fried Chicken was founded by Mr. Colonel Harlan Sanders. Everybody knows that Mr. Colonel Harlan Sanders was also famous by the name Mr. Sanders in short. And in this video, I am going to address him with the name Mr. Sanders. So, Mr. Sanders was an entrepreneur who started selling fried chicken in his roadside restaurant. in corbin kentucky at the time of great depression so many people don't know where is kentucky so kentucky is in state in north america so let's take a overlook on his childhood mr sanders was born on 9 september 1890 in henryville indiana when he was 6 years old his father passed away leaving him to cook and care for his siblings so as i said his first barrier of his life and that thing is the biggest barrier so let's see what his father did this father did some errands of farmers in henryville his mother didn't work because she have to take care of the children but after his father's sudden death his mother went to work at a tomato canning to feed the family somehow this fact was the key to his life these factors contributed the development of sanders as in chef all the relatives noticed that the boy was a real talent in this case his mother remarried when he was 12 his Stepfather didn't like the boys around so Sanders brother was sent to live with an aunt while he was sent to work in a farm about 80 miles away this was an another barrier in his life Sanders realized that he would work all day rather than go to school and this is why he dropped out from the school in the 7th grade this was the another barrier in his life he even joined in army and sanders left first half of his life doing a series of odd jobs he was hired as a labor in railway but got fired because of a fight with a coworker as he was working in railway he studied law he again ruined his legal career by getting into another fight after this incident he was forced to move back with his mother and got a job of selling life insurance and you can guess what happened i don't need to tell what happened he got fired due to insubordination In between nineteen eight, Mr. Sanders married Mrs. Josephine King. He had three children: a son, J. R. Harlan, who died at an early age, and two daughters. At his struggling time, his wife Josephine also left him by taking the children to her parents' house. In 1920 he found a ferry boat company. 
Later he tried selling tires, making lighting systems and acquired a service station in Corbin, Kentucky in 1930 where he served classic southern dishes to the travelers. The place got known due to its food. The World War II again forced him to close it down. Do you know the KFC's fried chicken which is now so famous was rejected 1009 times in the beginning? You can see how struggle did Mr. Sanders face. After that Sanders secret recipe was coined Kentucky Fried Chicken and quickly became a hit. But the blooming restaurant gibbled when an interstate opened nearby. This is the reason why Mr. Sanders sold it and pursued his dream of spreading KFC franchises and hiring KFC workers all over the country. Mr. Sanders really hit it big. Their company expanded internationally and he sold the company for about $2 million. Sanders still remains central in the company's branding and his face still appears on their logo. His goatee, white suit and western string tag still symbolize tasty, tasty, delicious country fried chicken. At the age of 90, Mr. Sanders passed away due to pneumonia. At that time, there were around 6,000 KFC locations in 48 countries. And in 2013, there were about 18,000 KFC locations in about 118 countries. Wow! From this story of Mr. Harlan Sanders, we'll get to learn that if anybody gets overwhelmed by rejection or discouraged by setback, always remember the story of Mr. Colonel Harlan Sanders. He wouldn't even let anybody to defeat him. We should all be like, Mr. Colonel Harlan Sanders. From this, I would like to end the video. So, like the video, comment, and subscribe my channel. Because if you subscribe my channel, you will be always updated with journal affairs and the knowledge which you should know. So, it's all up for today. Until then, goodbye.